call it a creative use of paved space. It's like an art form, really. It's like art with your feet. Teens honing their skateboarding skills. Andrew McWilliams goes big if there's an audience. If you're by yourself, you don't really want to try something that crazy. But if you got friends hyping you up, then it's a lot easier to do. So the first thing to know is teens make more risky choices when their friends are watching them. It's no surprise to cognitive neuroscientist Jason Chine. Researchers at Temple University's Brain Research and Imaging Center monitor teens while performing a computerized stoplight task. Teens have to drive a car on a straight stretch of roadway and decide whether or not to stop at a yellow light. The goal? To finish the course as fast as possible while trying not to crash. Researchers used the intercom to tell teens they had friends nearby watching and making predictions about their performance. During the task, researchers saw activation in two regions of the teens' brains that process rewards. In and of itself, it says to parents, be aware that even a good teen, even a smart teen, even a teen that has good information about their behavior is likely to behave differently when they're in the presence of their friends or when they think they're in a social environment. Scientists also had teens aged 13 to 17 complete memory training every day for one month. They found those teens took fewer risks when watched by their peers. Researchers say memory training may help with self-regulation. They're still waiting for their cognitive control systems to come online but we might be able to give that system a boost. A boost with special brain exercises that help develop emotional regulation and function.